Pastor Julian here with Central's devotion for today. I hope you're doing well. Judge not that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure that you use, it will be measured to you. This is a favorite Bible passage of those who seem to know very little about the Bible. That uh, this gives license, and Jesus is giving license to for universal acceptance of their lifestyles and other teachings. You're not allowed to say anything or be critical in any kind of way. You're not supposed to provide accountability for something that is clearly unbiblical or ungodly, that you're not supposed to execute judgment of any sort against others. That's not what the Bible teaches. That's not what this is talking about here uh, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, which is part of the Sermon on the Mount. It's not what Jesus is saying here. In fact, Jesus, uh, a little bit further down in chapter 7, talks about judging false teachers by their fruits, judging others by good fruit, by bad fruit, and ourselves by our fruits. So there is there's a judgment that Jesus is asking us to do. And the Bible tells us that we need to use our discernment. We need to use judgment. That we should keep each other accountable and speak the truth in love. So what is Jesus talking about here when he says, judge not that you be not judged. Don't judge or else you're going to be judged. And then when he goes on and says, for with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use it, it will be measured to you. What Jesus, what Jesus is talking about is to be fair in judging others. And he is giving uh, us instructions on how we should judge. How we should judge. And undergirding this teaching here on judgment, the point of it, is to love our neighbor as ourself and to be humble, to be humble. There were uh, two measurements of judgment according to rabbis during Jesus' time, many rabbis, and those measurements were justice and mercy. Are we going to judge using justice, upholding the letter of the law, legalistic, are we going to judge merciful? Merciful. And so here Jesus talks about, for with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure that you use, it will be measured to you. So we need to be mindful of what measurement we are using when we judge other people. You see, the Pharisees of the time, and this also can move all the way to us, we could identify with this, we often will be very judgmental and critical of other people, pointing out their faults, their flaws, uh, when they've committed some sort of a sin or done something ungodly, that we come down very heavy critically on them, talk about them, look at them with a harsh eye. Um, and, and in doing so, we bolster ourselves. We lift ourselves up to have a sense that we are better than that person. And this is what Jesus is warning about here, that we're not supposed to harshly condemn and criticize and judge other people so that we can lift ourselves up as being more righteous. He's saying to judge others as we would want to be judged ourselves because one day uh, we will be judged the way that we judge others. I think a great example of this is what's going on in our election right now. And I want you to keep this in mind 
for, I don't know when you're watching this, but I want you to keep this in mind uh, for even after the, the election, as we're moving into it in, a, in about a week, how you're judging other people. The two candidates, the two presidential candidates here in 2024, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, I would not want to be judged the way that they're being judged for what everything that they say, everything that they do, and what they've done in the past, who they associate themselves with. I wouldn't want to be judged as harshly as they're being judged. It is pretty awful. And then their supporters are also being judged very harshly. So I want to warn you against judging others the way that you would not want to be judged. And consider what measure you're using. Are you measuring justice to its highest degree? Or are you using the measure of mercy? I want you to consider that and, uh, and know that God does call us to judge, but we need to be mindful that we're judging appropriately and fairly. God bless you, and have a great day.